back at raiding, back at, yeah, basically fighting off the raiding in our own domains. Um, it's not our own domain though, it's um, Britain. My daughter, once again, I have to show this just that she's got another daughter. I have no idea what's going on. Look at this. She's got five siblings now. Um, I don't know why my t my family is a family of bastards and adulterers. <laughs> we are basically sleeping around with the whole court. Yes, there's... That's that. I don't know why they're doing it and I haven't certainly trained them for it. Well, we fought off another army here, so we are at least good warriors. Um, unfortunately, we haven't taken any prisoners for now. Right, so the raiding still continues down here, though we have a lot of resistance um, when we can see that. Another one is fighting us. Oh my goodness, look at that. We basically took the whole army as prisoners. <laughs> Let's have a look at my prison there real quick. Um, yeah, the prison is full. Executing all of them might give us a lot of piety. I would like to die now, please, because that is so much here right now. I think this is around 600 piety at the least. Nope, I'm not releasing any one of them at this point. A secret exposed. Um, face is copulated with his... Oh god, another intimate affair. The crime cannot go unpunished. Nah, let's are not. I usually am someone who uh, puts a blind eye on it. Right, and plus it doesn't matter with this character anymore. Let's go down here. Um, there's still a bit of raiding and with... Oh, we actually carry more than we can carry. So let's get back home there. And let's also put our armies down here as we are in the mainland. Or we go for some more raiding. It might be totally possible. Meantime, one of my vassals that I don't like and I've never planned to have um, here in Russia, I could grant her independence now. And I'm very inclined to do so. Um, oh, demand conversion. No, I don't want that. Um, granting her independence, she would be no longer part of my um, kingdom. She becomes independent. She also gets a bit of opinion, but that is beside the fact. Um, we are interested in getting rid of that territory here, right? Because it is bordered to territory that I absolutely don't care about. And where there is usually a lot of fighting involved. So, yeah. I just need to make sure that um, I'm not giving away anything that actually belongs to me that I want to keep. But nope, it's really just those territories here. Let's grant her independence. It's the first time that I'm doing this and I'm that merciful and she's no longer my vassal. And as we can see, that's the end of it. She's no longer part of it and we just lost the territory that I wanted to lose. Right, so perfect. We are back at our own kingdom that we have up here. And can focus on that again. And we don't have to focus about independent factions. About incoming Mongols. And stuff like that. That I absolutely don't care about. Next party is in with another 200 prestige and money there. So we can use them right away again. Um, let's disband them first. Let's just have a look what we can do now. Uh, with all of that we might just continue upgrading our own buildings in our domain once again. And by the way there we have the duchy holding right. Yeah, because here we can have a special building then once we have a um, once we have the tag for that. So we should keep that in mind as well. Here, I would like to construct then something as well. And is that does that belong to us? No, nope, this is our brothers then already. So there's nothing I can invest in into. The only way uh, where I can invest a bit of my prestige would be into more soldiers. So I could go for that. Oh wait a second, the trading post constructed has been constructed in Hurderland. So in our own domain and offers the opportunity for tribesmen and traders to meet at Barter. I don't think that this was a... Oh, there it is. Very good. We can upgrade this now to the market buildings. Oh God, Helena, please don't talk to me. I'm contemplating whether to share something with my wife. Um, next time we are by ourselves away from listening ears. The things I've learned about Jarl Grimmer. Let's, let's give her the secret there. I would like to upgrade, please. Oh, we don't have the city planning yet. Nothing I can do about it. Actually, before we continue there with the with the raiding, let's just host a feast there as well. We could also go on the pilgrimage. Would be something cool for um, once we want to focus on reforming our faith. Um, attempting suicide, I pretty much gave up on that idea because <laughs> basically we lose splendor, a full level of it. So we cannot... Um, 
you know, we cannot really do anything in this in this area then. Um, yeah, let's just host a feast. Um, cost us a bit of money. It's a way to spend money. Um, and about our core domains, I have a problem right now. I have the problem that I don't have enough domains close by where I can build something. I want to invest more of my my um, things, right? So we have, I think, up here. This one belongs to us there. Let's just have a look there. Yep, this one belongs to us, but I don't want that. I want to have my core domains close together. So we do have actually some vessels here that we might get rid of at some point now. Um, the feast is windling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my subtle vessel. <laughs> My subtle vessel. Actually, this is the one that I was talking about right now. He's here. Right? And he is my vassal and my champion. He doesn't like us. And he's a good schemer. He inquires about my opinion on the rumors at court. A subject he's deeply interested in. We could grow closer. Um, I'm more interested in you. We actually gain 20 right away. Or we make a friendship with him. Since... Keep your enemies close, but oh no, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. We might actually do this, um, and we would become friends in this regard. He's not that easy to kill. Uh, revoke the title. We have a hook against him. Oh, this is actually pretty good. That would have been my next step now. That we find some hooks against him, and could actually do it. Let's just see. Where, who are you? Chieftain Weser. That is a chieftain, really? It looks like a boy to me. As a plate after plate of food is brought into the great hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile. That my subversive vassal chieftain Weser is sensitive to coriander. What? I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome. But this is why he's looking like that. Um... I bid you all welcome and I pray you'll find the food to your liking, especially you, Vesa. Bad reaction to food. And he doesn't like us, so actually he gets a very high health penalty with this. Or we save him, we do get a hook on him and 75 prestige. Nope, he's a bad vassal. Let's give him the food reaction. <laughs> the bad food stuff. And you guy here, you're going to lose something. He will accept. Um, we lose quite a bit of opinion with him, but that's fine. Oh, feast in my house. I did everything I could enduring the schoolie, and Chief and Visa would be as far away from each other as possible. Um, throw Visa out to cool him, or restrain schoolie. Yeah, let's throw him out. Um, I would like to get this one, so we would have the chance here now. Actually, I think... He would also accept to take or to, to give away the whole Yaldum. My feasts depart, I get 150 prestige. It was a successful feast, so something that we might keep then for the future. And boom. Huh, should we take the whole Yaldum? He would be then in Island from then on. So there's no chance that he would be doing it. He's over here then, if we give it that to him. No, since it's an act of tyranny, I'm not doing that. Um, even though if we use a hook, it would work. But I'm not doing it right away. We might just get it then later, right? Um, over here, this does not belong to us. I would get something for myself. We're not doing that, though. Oh, we got the next trading post in Sogn. So up here, the next one has been finished. We can't upgrade it yet because of tech. What we can do is, though, we can upgrade the tribal holding. And finally, we have also gotten the city planning tech. The next tech on the list. Um, that doesn't happen very often, right? And with this, we have the ability to build the village center, the trading outpost. Um, so we should now be able to upgrade the trading post. There it is, to the market village. This gives me another income and another um, thing that we can upgrade with the city planning then. Um, we can still not construct anything new though. A secret exposed, uh, shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal Jarl Baldur has an extra marital affair. They all have affairs, even my wife has affairs. <laughs> and I just, you know, I look away from that. We are doomed anyway and we are in for the... Um, we are doomed and yeah, we're just not doing that. Look at ours, us now, we are sinner. Our son though should not have that problem, right? So he's actually, yeah, he's dutiful, very good. We have a dutiful son. 
he will be a good king. And two more years, then they can marry and scoodly poop and make babies. Which is what we might be doing then. Right, so stuff. Decisions and decisions that we need to make. We have not enough champions. Oh, we are not endorsed. We are not, indeed. Why are we not endorsed? She will endorse us. Started endorsing you. Doesn't look like that. Let's go for more raiding. We have... I mean, the money we keep when we die, the prestige, we don't. So, um, this time, I will actually... I will actually lead the army myself. And... Yep, there's still someone that we can recruit. So that we have a few champions available there. And once again, we're going for the triple raiding. The Holy Trinity, even though Brittany has been raided recently. Not by me, right? 1958, oh, Astoria looks quite weak there too. Galicia. Um, Galicia is weak as well. We might go against those guys. We might also go... Scotland. 8th thousand soldiers. They are feudal at this point. That's not going to work out. Um, I think they've always been feudal anyway. Damn it! They're all getting a bit strong there now. There we got something. There's Brittany too now. Let's have a look at Brittany down here. Devon! Yes! 23 coin. Let's go for it. It's a bit of that. Um, and here, Northern Germany. Kettle comes of age, my third born son. And. Da -da 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 oh, this is actually tricky. My, the Skull Dynasty is now known and far and wide. We have gained another uh, level of splendor and are noteworthy now. I was expecting this not before the. Ah, nope. Can't do that. So we are not doing that. Another interesting opportunity, while we don't want to wage war on Sweden right now, Sweden is in a pretty weak position, because he's at war with three people right now, three clans, and his military army is quite low. He's got no prestige and no money, so it might be um, taking something there. And no, unfortunately, I cannot take it over yet, because it's still the same me, right? So we are it's still us. We already subjugated once, so um, I can't do that. But what we can do is we can raid Sweden. Um, since it's that powerful, or has been that powerful, no one raided it yet. And there should be... Yeah, there's actually a bit of money over here. We can also make them weaker, thus. And perhaps we're that lucky and take the king of Sweden as prisoner. Um, this would be a, a lottery ticket. If that actually happens, then yeah, we can really say goodbye to any problems. Now, um, we are also raiding here in Brittany. Thank you very much that we got a bit of money out. Mm. Ormond. There is also something here. Who does it belong to? Brittany. Very good. Brittany is such a free... free <laughs> Yeah, look at him, King Connemore. He has been taken prisoner <laughs> a few too many times now. Um, but he's still smiling, so he's still still fine with him. Though his daughter or his wife doesn't look that good as well. She's a rational adventurer, so perhaps she does like it to, uh, to be taken as prisoner. Oh, we got a lot of soldiers out here. Um, yeah. There is something to read. Let's just have a look what happens. They should not be attacking us because that's not um, the Swedish army. That's the populist uprising that we can see right now and which is over now. What happened? They all disappeared. Um, Where is something to read? There is something to read. There are some holdings. No one is at, at, at the moment, you know, attacking us. So we really have a free holding there. Perfect. The fate of the Norsemen living in the harsh lands of Scandinavia, our people have a history of enduring our prosperity and survival through uh, trading, pillaging and fighting as swords for hire. Um, over time this resulted in accumulation of great wealth, making our people, oh we have wealth, um, put down roots and settle in permanent homesteads. Now these settlements have begun to diverge from each other culturally as the traditions and even languages. And we have now the opportunity um, of actually going from Norse to Norwegian. So we can change our culture here now to the Norwegian culture. Um, part of the Germanic group, the Norwegians, 
They are also still in the tribal era and they have no cultural head. We are the first ones um, going into this and I think this is a good, good thing. I have no idea though how much tech we would lose. So this is a big risk as well. Um, yeah, and I don't think that I can see these, this culture here before it, right? They have reached this era. Let's go for it. We become our own culture and our own head, right, of this culture then. You became the cultural head of the Norwegian culture. Oh, thank the gods. <laughs> we have a lot of tech here. Right now we can decide what we want to research next. Um, we also created the culture that no one else can take from us anymore. Um, as long as they don't have more um, counties than us. Which is pretty much impossible at this point because we got that much. Um, when we look at the cultural map as we can see. So Norwegian that is us now. Right we got the Swedish over here and the Sami over here. And what we might try over time is make the Sami which belong to our kingdom at the moment. Um, what we can try to make with them is we can make them Norwegian as well. Right? How do we do this? Let's have a look at one of them. So there we got the chieftain. Right? Who belongs to us. And he's Sami. And we could go here now with our... Boop, where was it? There it is. Promote the culture. My steward. And we could promote our Norwegian culture in those counties. And thus make everything here Norwegian. Um, which I'm going to aim. For now... We rather still want to focus on finishing the development of my counties here, right? So once we have reached 10 here, um, then we can go with um, developing or promoting our culture. Now for the cultural tax, there is one that is finishing rather soon that we will go for now. Um, the Onagar or Onager. And it only takes three years for us to take. So now we have even more reasons to get a learner as our next king. Right now, my next king, my son here, um, he's going to be a steward because he's basically been trained for it. Um, but they can now smoothly poop around so they can marry. Yes, they can marry and they will. Very good. Thus, it is sealed. Um, and now, what they are doing is, well, they're making babies. And if one of these babies has the genius trait, I would be very happy about that. And um, we make them a learner. Right, because we do need that for two things now, training our culture, so we could really get the edge over others by having someone that is focusing on learning and getting the piety for the religion. Um, so this is something we can now focus the researching. On the other hand, with the learner, we can make our reformed faith that we might want to go for as well. The most or the biggest problem in this area is that we don't die. <laughs> for some reasons, we just don't die. I want to die at this point. It would be amazing. Um, speaking of amazing, the kingdom of Norway, yeah, and Skuli here would take it over. Yeah, but it's not happening so far. Now, Swedish, uh, Sweden is still pretty weak, so we might continue here with the raiding. Inland. And also... Oh, there's actually not that much to raid. Nope. Those guys, let's get them home. And there we also got... Oh, Denmark I'd rather not screw around with right now. And here we are. And... Yep, there's still something to take over there as well that we should be taking. And how's Astoria looking? Can we raid again? It's, it's 9.58. So the... Yeah, we can raid again. Very good. Astoria is... Thank the gods! <laughs> Thank you, thank you, we have died. King Bjorn II, you had you have definitely had a good life. And um you definitely well were pretty good at it, but you just weren't ready or well you know weren't for this time anymore. Um King Bjorn II of Norway has abandoned his mortal coil at 66 years of age. He died of old age, a known murderer. He will atone for his unspeakable crimes in the next life. King Skuli ascends the throne. How scald? Becomes reputable once again or noteworthy. So we are rising there again because this king is just much better. Um, we also have now a pretty good rating with the piety with King Skuli. Um, and my wife is pregnant. As soon as I enter the throne or ascend the throne, my wife is pregnant. And um, hopefully there's a genius coming out of it. Thank you very much. This couldn't be going better. And now it's all about the learn or the lifestyle choices once again in this area. And 
I'm so tempted to go for learning because we could go with the reformed faith, but I know it's the right thing to do with the stewardship now. As we can see, he's already here in the architect stuff. Okay, change of plans. So I was actually going for the stewardship um, with the learning trait because, oh, because he's educated in that. But thinking about it, it makes no sense to go for stewardship now. And since we want to go for feudal, we want to train tech and we want to reform our faith. It makes more sense to have learning now. And I think, yeah, we have a lot of prisoners to slaughter as well. So we do get a lot of piety of slaughtering all of those uh, pe uh, people there. We even have a king, the king of Astoria here right now as a prisoner. So we do get a lot of piety out of that. Um, so despite his education, I'm doing something that I absolutely hate doing, but I have to do it. Um, I neglect the 20% experience points that we get here um, and go for learning. Because with the learning, we do get all of these boosts that we need. Um, plus, we also get the development growth rating with the scholarship focus that is just much better overall for uh, developing our um, terrain, right? So there we are, and we are a learner. The cool thing here too is we are actually better at learning, right? We have the education for stewardship, but we had higher learning skills anyway. And we also now um, research the tax faster for our culture. So overall, I'm happy. Now with that, um, with the learning tree, we will get a pretty high piety. I hope so. So what I might try now is, or what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to slaughter all of my, um, my prisoners. Mass execution as my first point of action. <laughs> um, let's slaughter all of them. That's another 50 piety. There we got 250 piety, um, 50 piety. So those are all people from Astoria. That we have raided there at some point right so this gives me 1000 piety right away so we already got a fourth of the piety we need for reforming our religion at the first day of our um reign so now we can focus on the new the next things my wife she will also focus on the patronage and thank you dave there and as we can see she's got nine learning so putting it in there we get 0 0.5 more piety Makes a lot of sense to me to do this. Um, the next thing would be my chancellor. Um, that's, a, uh, that's a diplomat. It's one of my vassals. He's good at it. Let's put him in there. And my marshal. Oh. This one is much better. But this one is our vassal. He's good at nothing else. So he should be the, va the marshal. And the steward. Yeah, not so bad. Right. So he continues with the development. Which is now sped up. And also the patronage is working, domestic affairs is important, and yeah, we basically have a lot of options. Now, first of all, we lost the Kingdom of Lapland because um, our brother got it um, with our death um, because there was the king title, right? So what we can do in this case here... Oh, my armies are still raised. We need to get back home there. I can right see that. Um, that we declare a few wars here now. So there are actually quite a lot of things happening right now. Sweden kind of collapsed. So there's not that much happening um, outside that, right? The king of Sweden was weak. And he's losing all the wars right now that are fought against him. So this will be interesting what is happening now over the next things. We're also dedicated to our faith now. Very good. Oh, my brother has fallen ill. Wait a second. Who is the heir? Ah, damn it. There are a few in between. If he dies, <laughs> we could kill our way to the kingdom of Lapland. And I might actually do this. We have this option or we conquer them. And we do have the strongest army on the continent now. The next raiders are coming in. Um, also, Denmark is using the weakness of Sweden right now and taking over territory in the south. So Sweden totally broke apart. This is so interesting to watch as this whole massive kingdom is breaking apart. Um, this is not as bad, right? So we lost the kingdom of Lapland, but it's totally fine because it is normal in our, um, uh, in our succession. And it's our weak brother who actually got it. So we can take it back easily. There is no problem in that. Let's put my... Oh no. My wife lost the child. So we are still childless. This is bad though. This is something where we should be careful. Let's disband my armies there real quick. Do we still have an army raised? Nope. I still have an army raised. But where? 
And once again, she's pregnant. Very good. We lost the child, but we got a new child perhaps soon. Um, that is on the way, and we might now have two options with Lapland. First of all, we could have the subjugation, right? They're vastly inferior. This would be a, a definite win. So we could just take it over and have the kingdom once again in our control. Either um, or we... Um, murder our way through Lapland and save us the subjugation for Sweden, for example, if it's weak enough then. I think this is the, the route that I would like to take. Um, the Kingdom of Lapland, as we can see, we are fourth in line. Um, we would have to murder our way through those guys here. Let's just check. Do we have... Ah, oh, our Spymaster is not the best. He's only a champion of us, though, so we can... Yes! We have a good vassal who is an intricate web weaver, so he's really good at, at, at intriguing stuff. Let's actually assign him to it. It also makes a vassal of us happy. And he could help us with that, right? With murdering our way through. What we can do to prepare that, though, is we can find secrets in the capital of the king, right? And if we find secrets, we might get some agents to join into the murder scheme and thus um, improve the chances for it. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is really cool. Third in line for the kingdom there. Um, also, third in line for the chief of Peckham. Which is... Oh, that is up here anyway. So, we are not aiming for that. We want the kingdom. And first of line for the chief of Halogaland. Which is also our brother. Oh, dear brother. <laughs> dear brother. We might try our murder scheme on him first. Yep. To get Halogaland back into our direct control. Oh, there's so many possibilities. It's just beautiful. We also have a strong chieftain here. There, I'm far away though. So I don't even have to think about that, right? We will always have a vassal there, most likely. Um, there we have chieftain Tyke. This is also far away. There will be nothing. But Halogaland, Halogaland might be ours rather quick again. And of course, Lapland. Stay tuned. <laughs> 